I want to give you my impressions about this game, Scars Above, after beating the first boss. So this is the first boss, you get the shield. So I like it, I like it. So I'm a big Dark Souls fan, I also beat Remnant from the Ashes. So for example, if you play that game, the combat system of Remnant is far superior, in my opinion. This is also similar to Kina, but Kina combat system is far superior. So basically, this game looks like a PlayStation 3 game. The graphics are very, very low quality, but it runs very well. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> the graphics don't look fantastic, but it runs very well. Okay, I <laughs> can actually use 120 hertz black from insertion. And also, I want to share the settings that I am using for the game. And these are the settings that I use for most games. <laughs> Actually, I would like to use these settings for every single game, if I can. Uh, but I cannot get 120 FPS on every single game. So basically, what I like to use is the SDR HDR trick with OLED Motion Pro High. That's my favorite way to play with the LG C1 and my PC. So because this game allows me to do that, I'm very happy with it. So also I like the game setup, the story. Uh, when you start the game, are we alone in the universe? You got me, <laughs> you got me. Because yeah, that's my favorite topic ever. <laughs> like if I'm going to watch a movie, and I'm searching through the movies. That's the movie I'm going to watch. <laughs> so you got me from the beginning. Of course, the voice acting. The, it's a low budget game. Okay, It's an indie game. Low budget. The animations are rough. Graphics are very, very low quality. But the story, I am interested in the story. The gameplay is between Remnant and Kina but a lot less quality in the animations and the, the camera. It is clunky, it is clunky, but it is not difficult so far. It's actually very easy, but it is not so easy that, it, that the game is just not, not interesting whatsoever, because if you make the game too easy, I'm like, I'm not gonna play it. So there, there are no difficulty levels on the game so I like that uh, and I feel that so far the balance on the difficulty is very nice so with this boss I died three times three times and I beat the boss so basically it's like on Kina you have to shoot in the chest of the enemy basically so you have to find the opening the enemy attacks the uh, the variety of the attacks is like two or three attacks very easy to predict I don't know why I died three times, probably because I don't have this, I didn't realize about the stamina bar, there's actually a stamina bar, so when you're running, yeah, when you're running, you can run, you can dodge, so you have this kind of fire weapon, so you have, I have so far an electronic weapon that you can use for enemies that are on the water and it works actually electrifies the enemies you have this fire weapon and you have a cryogenic weapon that allows you to shoot in the water that is infested with worms so you can walk uh, on top of the water so I like that you know there are some kinds of enemies that I I guess that they are going to be more vulnerable to one of the weapons and you have to change the weapons with this. So you get some abilities of changing the weapons fast. And yeah, it seems like a simple combat system, but it, it, I think it works. But I'm interested in the story. I'm interested in the story and I don't want to spoil it, but it's basically are we alone in the universe? And yeah, we finally got our answers. No, we're not. And then something happened and then you're trying to figure it out what's going on. And I am already imagining what's going on. And I think it's very interesting. So I'm interested in playing the game just because 
I want to know what happened. I am interested in the story. The gameplay is good enough. It runs very well. It runs. I mean, there are some stutters, as always, on Real Engine. But it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I don't see any issues so far. Some minor drops, but it is 120, very easy to get. Uh, you can just lower the resolution quality or, or just use NVIDIA image scaling, which is what I'm going to use end up using right now I'm just using the in-game slider because yeah I just wanted to play for a moment and see how the game was but Nvidia image scaling is gonna give you a better quality so oh I forgot to mention turn off motion blur <laughs> the game comes with a forced motion blur which is like <laughs> terrible but you know it's just search online I might have yeah, I'm gonna copy that in the link in the description of the video. Just copy and paste that. I'm gonna have the instructions how to remove the motion blur. Uh, because, yeah, there's no settings on the game to remove the motion blur on the PC. Like, that makes no sense. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not going to, you know, burn the developers because of that. But, yeah, it's a big miss. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so far, I think I'm, I'm gonna play the game. Unless I start... You know, seeing some enemies that are unfair and some bosses that are going to destroy me and I feel like it is not a lack of abilities from my part. It is just, it's clunky. That might happen in <laughs> this game. But it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's going to be difficult enough for that to happen. So I'm definitely interested in knowing what's going on this story. So yeah, I can recommend you to try it, if you don't like it, uh, then just ask for a refund. But I think it's worth trying, especially if you like Dark Souls and if you like Remnant. This is a low, even lower budget version of Remnant, but it does have a story that I think I, I am interested in. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Just let me show you the settings before I end the video in case you haven't seen that video. Windows, turn on HDR. These are my favorite settings. The settings that I want to use for every game. There's no better way in my opinion to use <laughs> this LG C1 on the PC. So you just turn on HDR on Windows, max out the slider, screen brightness 40, 41, tone mapping off. I'm gonna show you also the rest of the settings. Then you come here, 1113111, change this master in peak and max CLL to 540 because that is the RHDR slider is doing max CLL 498. And then the colors, color depth 55, color gamut on auto, warm 50. My favorite settings to use this TV on the PC is like absolutely amazing and then OLED Motion Pro high you get a hundred if you can get 120 FPS that's fantastic you can also try 100 Hertz with this OLED Motion Pro high and it also works and it's fantastic so sometimes you cannot get 120 but you can get 100 so most of the games I play with 100 FPS 100 Hertz because that's what I can get on my PC and sometimes it's because of the CPU, not because of the of the GPU. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.